This is a false monitor and his name's Pancake. Mark Harris believes a lizard should be for life. His sanctuary for exotic animals is struggling to cope with a surge in the number of pets brought in because their owners can't care for them. Over the last six weeks we've had definitely 25 animals brought in that we've actually kept here. Um, but we've turned away easy 20. Um, we're turning away an average of 10 turtles easy a week. Some have been dumped and they'd stand no chance left to the British weather. Winter time they will just die. Um, they're governed by the, the temperature around them um, to keep them warm. You don't actually need a licence to own reptiles like this or others like snakes, so getting hold of one is pretty easy. But then the challenges of looking after the animals in your own home and paying for the upkeep can be a little more than some people expect. Keeping them fed and heated can be costly. Financial climate at the moment is not helping that much. A lot of people haven't got a lot of money. Um, and I know with the hike in the electric bills coming up soon, we will have an influx of them because obviously straight away you've got the heating and lighting on the, on the tanks. Um, that's the first thing that will go to help with electric bills. Safe Haven is a not-for-profit community interest company and Mark is happy to help animals, but he'd prefer people were educated about what it really takes to be a responsible reptile owner. At the moment, the centre is so packed it needs to expand. Mark wants children to be able to enjoy having exotic pets and not have any nasty surprises when they become demanding members of the family. Katie Austin, BBC South Today, in Poole.